What's up, Shintani? Morning, sunshine. I'm on Nakamichi Street. Yeah, and? You know Majori? Little cafe, killer coffee. Come here. Another impromptu meeting? Don't whine. I thought you liked keeping busy. Hey, over here. Take a seat. Right. Anyway, I asked around near Sauna Goten. Couldn't get anyone to back up Hamura's alibi, though. All right. Good work. So, what'd you call me out here for? Something came up. Take a look at this. Cops released it to the media. It's the camera footage from a moor. Hamura and Kume are both in here, clear as day. Damn. Didn't realize the cops had their hands on this. This could be pretty bad. Ready? I'm gonna play it. Kume's the poor bastard getting dragged into the club. Explains why Kumi's buddy there is running for his life. Yep, got a name too. Akira Murase, another Kyori thug. Word is he hasn't left Kamurocho after getting interrogated by the cops. By the look of things, there must be a Kyori hideout nearby. Crazy how clear it all is. Hamura can't just talk his way out of this. Yep, and there's more. Take a look at this. One hour later, everyone leaves, except for Hamura and Kume. Even the owner hightails it. Wait, why would they stick around? Who knows? Our pal Hamura never mentioned this part. Now, this happened around 10 p.m., meaning there was another four hours before Kume's suspected time of death. The question is, what were the two of them doing all that time? Hamura said he threw Kume out of the club around midnight. After that, he left the club himself and went to the sauna. Right. But I want to hear how it all went down from a different angle. That's where you come in, Yagami. You gotta talk to the guy in charge of Amor. Back up a second. Huh? You're the lawyer here. I get that. You decide what kind of investigation we need for the trial. But don't tell me how to do my job. Yeah, but aren't you gonna talk to him either way? All the same, I'd appreciate it if you'd stop barking orders at me.
Suspicious. you you need something actually I was wondering if you have a minute to talk about about December 3rd oh I had that day off man if anyone's gonna know it's our manager he doesn't come in till nighttime though the manager huh this him oh it is what's his name Aragaki. Think you could get in touch with him for me? We need to have a chat. I could try. Hold on. I knew this was gonna happen. He never has his phone on during the day. He usually hangs out near here, though. You mean in Kamurocho? Yep, usually. All right. I'll go take a look around. If you don't mind me asking, how? You're just gonna walk the whole city? No, I have a plan. Someone I can use to help me find him. With the name and photo, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Ah, if you say so, man. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Somehow I knew I'd find you here. Ah, uh, Yagamishi. You here to join this raid I'm about to get going? <laughs> Probably not, huh? What can I do for you? Got something I need a guy like you for, Tsukumo. This is Makoto Tsukumo. He's... well, he's a character. Tsukumo makes a living digging up dirt on the internet. A modern-day informant, if you will. More detective work, I assume? 
What's the mark this time? A uh, lost cat? Someone go missing? I'm looking for someone. The owner of Club Amour, a man named Aragaki. He's probably somewhere nearby, but I don't have time to scour all of Kamurocho either. <laughs> you got that right. Searching on foots for cavemen. Uh, here, can I see your phone for a quick second? My phone? Sure. Ah, what do we have here? You already have the chatter app, Yagamishi. I do? Oh, I guess it came pre-installed. Well, you're in luck. In my hands, this stupid app becomes a powerful way to find people. Really? How? Hold on. I'm busting into their servers now. And there we go. Here, take a look. Go ahead, try searching for something. Maybe a name? That would be Aragaki. Okay, and let's limit the time period while we're at it. Say, today. See? That map will tell you the GPS position of all the relevant chatter posts. Not gonna lie, I had to give myself admin privileges to get that one, though. <laughs> wow. Hmm, 128 hits. We're gonna need to narrow down the search. Not sure what else we can put in, though. Didn't you say the name of the club, Yagamishi? Some crazy French word? Oh yeah, it's Club Amour. Great, let's try Aragaki and Club Amour. Well, looky there, narrowed it down to one. So Aragaki wrote this, huh? Nope, just someone who saw him. That's still a massive hint, though. See, it got posted only 10 minutes ago. Meaning the poster might still be nearby. So, if I were you, I'd get down there and see if you can find out where your man went. I marked the spot on your map, Yagamishi. Hope it comes in handy. Good luck out there. Appreciate it. Oh, and try to get out more, okay? <laughs> Why on earth would I do that? Really, guys? Got a second? Sure, I can spare a few of those. What's up? I'm looking for the owner of a club called Amour. Any idea where he is? Actually, yeah. Just saw him. Wasn't in a great mood from the look of it. Must have really lost big time on the pachinko slots. Any idea where he was heading? Toward Taihei Boulevard. Probably getting sushi, if I had to guess. Sushi? Really? Isn't that a little pricey for a guy who just lost a bunch of money? <laughs> you don't get it. You get sushi after a big loss to cheer yourself up. What's ten more grand if you've already lost fifty or a hundred? Winning's what makes you stingy. Feels like it'd be a waste to blow your earnings on something dumb. Huh. I'd never thought about it. Anyway, thanks a bunch. I'll head over to that sushi joint.
don't give up, do you? See you next time. Hmm? Aragaki-san, the owner of Amor. <laughs> and you are? Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. I want to talk about what happened on the night of December 3rd. Oh, yeah? Sorry, not ringing any bells. Come on, you and I both know that's not true. <laughs> well, it is. I don't know a damn thing. Why don't I jog your memory then? I've got something to show you. Take a look. <sighs> On the night of the crime, you left Amur with these Matsugane goons, leaving Hamura and Kume, the victim, alone in there. You're knee-deep in this. <sighs> Guess I can't argue with that logic. Don't worry. I won't ask for anything too out there. Just a bit of your time. I'm working on Hamura's defense, and I'm hoping you're the silver bullet. Oh yeah? Whatever. I'll talk. Huh. You actually tracked him down. Appreciate the help. Now, what went down around 9 p.m. on the night of December 3rd? Well, uh, Captain Hamura brought that Kansai punk Kume in here. It was out of the blue. Caught me off guard. Were there any other customers here at the time? Just a few. They bailed when Hamura came busting in here. Who wouldn't? I ended up sending the girls home, too. Once everybody was gone, the Matsugane guys just laid into Kume for almost an hour. You uh, didn't hear that from me. You're good. Don't worry. Then right around 10, something kind of weird happened. Hamura kicked everyone out of the club. Even me. And the only ones left inside were Hamura and Kume. <sighs> yep. You know why Hamura kicked everyone out? He... he said Kume reminded him of an old friend. Claimed they needed to have a chat, alone. At least that's how he worded it. And that didn't seem weird to anyone? Oh, the Matsugane boys had plenty to say about it. <sighs> but if the boss tells you to leave, you get the heck out. <sighs> no clue what went down in the club after that. Tell me about the camera out back. The broken one. Oh, that? How long's it been like that? For about a month. Some drunk asshole chucked a rock. <sighs> Cracked it right open. It was just for show, though. Never actually worked in the first place. Not much use to me, then. Did you just sit and watch while the Matsugane tore into Kume? What do you mean? What else could I have done? Called the cops on them for one. Not like they're especially good for business. Nor is a dead body in your club. Come on. They'd have killed me if I did that. And frankly, it didn't look like they were hurting him too bad. If anything, they were going easy on him. Meaning what? Like just smacking him around a bit. You know, nothing too serious. Once in a while they'd hit him a little harder. To make him bleed, I guess. The cops came by after the incident, right? A detective, yeah. Guy named Kuroiwa. Apparently with organized crime. What did you tell him? Not a whole lot. Same stuff I told you. 
<sighs> Forensics was tearing this place apart. Trying to find bloodstains from Kume. You know, with that luminol stuff. I thought I'd wiped all that up before they got here, but that sure was a waste. <sighs> Turns out blood's tougher to clean up than I thought. <sighs> now they're convinced the murder happened here. Was there that much blood? Before you wiped it up, I mean. No, not really. I told you, they barely even made Kume bleed. Sounds like he didn't die here, then. Well, I certainly wouldn't know. Did you just sit and watch while the Matsugane tore into Kume? What do you mean? What else could I have done? Called the cops on them, for one. Not like Nora's a dead- Come on! And fr if any- Meaning what? Like, just once in a- Well, thanks. This is a huge help. We done here? Thank you.